Hello, this is Trent Smith at the National Weather Service in Missoula, Montana, doing a briefing on upcoming uh, weather disturbances starting tonight and through the remainder of uh, 2017. So let's just hit some highlights here. Uh, tonight through Friday, we have a weather system coming in uh, and some moisture feed from the west, plus an Arctic uh, cold front coming in from the east, which is going to bring some uh, decent impacts, especially during the Friday morning commute and then actually down in uh, Idaho, maybe the Friday evening time frame. This weekend, uh, with this Arctic coming in, colder air, uh, we're looking at some of the coldest temperatures this season. There is another disturbance uh, going to impact the region Christmas Eve, Sunday into Christmas morning. Uh, there's still a lot of uncertainty with that one, but uh, it does look to be another widespread uh, snow event. And then kind of looking at the remainder of 2017, which is going to still remain fairly active. So like it says, we have this uh, moisture feed coming in uh, tonight and lasting throughout much of the day uh, on Friday and then shifting more to uh, Idaho County, Lemhi County Friday night uh, time frame. So it's going to bring widespread uh, snow to the to the region. Our snow levels are down to the valley floor. Uh, we're, we're plenty cold enough that everybody should get uh, snow from this event. And here's just uh, what we're forecasting totals uh, around the area. Extreme Northwest Montana, this time around, it doesn't appear to be as much snow, especially up in the Yak, Libby, Eureka, we're only looking at one to two inches. Uh, the Glacier Park area, about uh, anywhere from two to six inches. Uh, but I think the main uh, concern is going to be the I-90 corridor from Lookout Pass uh, to Deer Lodge. That, that's, that's the area that has us the most concern. It appears that that's where the moisture is going to stall out for a little bit, especially in the Friday morning commute. Uh, we are under the standing that uh, most schools are going to be out tomorrow, but there's still a, a few uh, uh, school districts that still at least have a half day, maybe even a whole day going on. So a little concerned about uh, bus activity. And then an area that we've been really kind of focusing on is the prolonged snow down in kind of Grangeville, that southern Idaho county, and how the snow is going to actually interact in Lemai County. Right now we're forecasting maybe one to two inches in salmon. There is a probability uh, that that could be uh, higher amounts. Um, with that. So what I have here is just a uh, GIF image of one model's depiction on how the precipitation is going to be moving into the area. Uh, this uh, loop starts at about noon today and goes until about noon on Saturday. And the color coding here is the model's uh, depiction on the heaviest uh, precipitation. So the darker the green or the greens and the darker greens, that's where the heavier precips are going to be. So uh, later this afternoon, evening time frame, it's going to start up in uh, Kalispell, uh, up in northwest Montana, Glacier Park area. Then the precip is going to slowly move its way down. Um, over west central Montana to north central Idaho. And then by Saturday, Friday night into Saturday, it's really going to shift to southern uh, Idaho County and Lemhi uh, County time frame. And again, that's the period that we have a little bit of concern since that region really hasn't seen a lot of snow um, lately. So I'm just going to let this uh, loop through uh, a, a couple of times so that way you can kind of get an idea. Uh, the timings could be off about uh, a, a couple of hours. Again, this is just one model's depiction. Some other models have it a little bit faster, others a little bit slower. But uh, I, I felt that this one gave the best detail on the timing and how this whole system is going to progress as it moves through the northern Rockies. Uh, an interesting uh, uh, image is in Kalispell as that uh, moisture, we get a good moisture feed, shower activity, and then uh, all of a sudden by early morning hours, about that three o'clock uh, time frame, you can really see the precipitation kind of shut off in Kalispell. Though. That's the colder air, that's that Arctic front that's uh, moving into the area. Um, it's a lot deeper um, the farther north you go, and it's going to really uh, push that moisture to the south and dry us out. Where we'll, we'll probably get some Arctic air, it's just going to be a lot uh, thinner, a lot closer to the ground, and we'll still get some wind and moisture down in the uh, 
over McDonald Pass and Rogers Pass through that Avon area into Missoula, um, a Friday morning time frame. But up across the north, uh, that cold air is really going to shove uh, the moisture out. So that's why you see uh, in the early morning hours that that the precipitation really shuts down across Glacier Park into Kalispell. It's, again, it's that colder air uh, from that Arctic moving in. And then, like I said, uh, Grangeville down towards Riggins, uh, there's just this persistent uh, precipitation throughout the night and into Saturday morning that has us concerned. And that moisture also streams over to Salmon um, area. And again, th there's a little... Con uh, Discrepancy in the models on how far south and uh, where is that heaviest precip going to set up for salmon. Uh, the majority of the models show it just north of salmon. That's why we're predicting one to two inches. But if that moisture feed shifts just even farther south, then salmon could have a, a, a decent amount associated with it. But as everything is lining up, it looks like that I-90 corridor, again, from Lookout Pass uh, to Deer Lodge, probably has uh, the best chance. So again, that was kind of a, a model's depiction. Um, th this is looking at multiple models and our ideas um, and kind of the timing of impacts of some of the uh, cities around our forecast area. So in Kalispell, we're looking at the snow picking up around this evening, maybe the five to seven o'clock. I mean, you could even get moderate snow at that time and going until about that, uh, anywhere from three to six o'clock uh, time frame, maybe even a little bit later of uh, steady moderate snow. Then again, the winds are, are anticipated to kick in around 3 o'clock tonight and then go until Friday afternoon. Knowing the type of snow, it's going to be that big fluffy snow and uh, the gust potentials with these east winds being anywhere in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range, uh, there is a, a probability or a decent probability of uh, blowing and drifting snow. Um, maybe some localized ground blizzards in the open fields in the northern uh, Flathead Valley. So uh, that's the best time that we can get for Kalispell. Missoula, again, snow, especially the modern snows, expected to kick around, start off around midnight tonight and go through the afternoon, maybe even linger into the evening. Uh, the winds uh, for Missoula is going to be mid to late morning on Friday and lasting into the evening. Uh, and that kind of extends out into uh, the Bonner, uh, the Potomac, Avon um, region, uh, the Garrison Junction, um, about the same amount. Uh, wind's not as much of a concern down in Butte. Uh, or the models aren't really picking up on much of a wind. But it, just north of there, uh, kind of in that Deer Lodge to Anaconda, uh, there is some depiction of a good northerly wind on that I-90 corridor. Uh, and the moderate snowfall, again, uh, is looking early Friday morning through the evening. Uh, Grangeville, uh, snow starting about Friday and lasting throughout at least the evening and potentially even through Saturday morning uh, time frame. Um, with that. And then, like I discussed earlier, the salmon area, there is the potential for moderate snow throughout the day on Friday, but it really depends on where that uh, moisture uh, sets up. So that's the the steady moisture coming in with the Arctic front and some of the thoughts that we have with that. And then with that Arctic air coming in, uh, we should dry out, clear out. Uh, there is some discrepancy in the models on how much clearing we're going to see. But here's the ongoing forecast for Sunday morning. So Saturday night into Sunday morning should be the period where we uh, should have the best chance to get some good radiative cooling. Some of the coldest temperatures we've seen this uh, season with Pole Bridge about negative 16, uh, minus 22 in Butte. Uh, Missoula is going to be right around that uh, in the negative numbers. So uh, we, uh, we know that uh, these temperatures could have an impact on how you treat uh, the roads. Uh, especially with the amount of snow we're anticipating with this first event and how to prepare for the next uh, system. So uh, it's going to be a cold one. Uh, again, there's still some concern. If we get enough clouds, it might not be as cold as what we're depicting, but we're following this one uh, pretty closely also. And then into Sunday, Christmas Eve, right into Christmas Day, uh, the models just a couple days ago were depicting another decent little short wave coming through the region. 
there, there's definitely some timing um, issues with it. One model is trying to tell us it's going to be more of an impact on Sunday, where another one's kind of telling us more Christmas morning will be the impact. So we just kind of want to give you a, a heads up that at some point between Sunday and Monday, there, there is probably going to be another widespread snow event. Uh, the details are still pretty murky at this time. Uh, so we'll probably be sending out an email on Friday, maybe even on Saturday to try to help with uh, depicting more timing and the, the amounts uh, for this period uh, just to kind of help you with the staffing uh, associated with it. So what does the remainder of 2017 have for us? Uh, the models are informing us that we're going to stay in this kind of northwesterly flow aloft. So our flow is going to be coming out of British Columbia uh, for the most part. Temperatures, uh, a high probability that temperatures are going to remain below normal. And for us, this time of year is in about the low 30s for highs and about the mid to upper teens for lows. So, uh, Again, that's uh, what's normal, and the models are depicting below normal temperatures. And this northwesterly flow, I mean, th there's uh, still a lot of noise out there, but uh, we should stay fairly active, um, off and on snow showers, sometimes pretty light, other times a little bit more intense if we can get uh, a little feature to come through the flow. Um, a lot of uncertainty, but it should still uh, remain fairly active. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to give us a call at the number that is posted or visit our website.